Scrolling the text in a graphical user interface becomes very important. When you have ample of text and you would like to show them inside a text box which is bound by a simple area, then you need a scroll bar wherein you can scroll through the data. So let's see how this scroll bar can be designed in detail in this video. So let's get started. Hey guys, a scroll text has got multiple features inside it. One is when you are, you know, copy pasting or typing something inside a text box, what should happen is it should wrap the text. For example, if you see my text, none of the text, none of the words are, I mean, sometimes let's say practical, only four words will come on the top and the rest of the words will come bottom. So that's called wrapping the text. Now, if you see even that feature is enabled right now with this code you know you can scroll you can see the scroll bar is also enabled and also i can disable the text for example the upper one is disabled and i cannot enter any text and the other important feature when you expand it see it is taking the entire space and another feature the height of the scroll text box or the text box is controlled if you see i have controlled the height into specific proportion so all of this you are going to learn in this video okay so let's see how all these things are done one by one all right so let's start our very first step which is importing the required libraries as we are designing a graphical user interface the library name is take into now here our main focus is to scroll the text to scroll the text you have to use something called from tkinter will be importing a very specific class called scroll text or a very specific module from the tkinter parent module scroll text now once i have it let's design the frame of the application to design our root frame or the main frame we will say root and then i'm going to say tkinter dot the method is tk right using this we are creating the background mainframe of the application and then we will put that in the main loop let's run this four lines of code and see what is happening so what we have got is the background of the window is created if you see the background of the window is created with the four lines of code now the next thing that we have to see is how do I enable a scrolled text okay so let's write the code for that now for the scroll text I'm simply saying scrolled because we want to create a text box let's create a variable called text underscore scroll one is a text box with a scrolling option now for this what is that you have to use what is the uh, module you have to use is nothing but scroll text so i'm saying scroll text dot and there is a class called scrolled text okay using the scroll text class i'll be able to build what i need now the very first thing we are going to keep it inside the root first of all when you are learning you have to start with very simple lines of course by adding a lot of parameters you generally don't understand how they are working so do not add multiple parameters just type very simple run it and see how it is appearing then we will slowly add the parameters as needed okay so many people will remember the parameters not required you, you will add as you need so let's see so first of all i have created a text scroll one i am going to pack it i am not adding any parameters apart from the root root means it has to be kept inside the main frame of the application if i am going to run this you can see the window has been created and there's a box called created now is it a scroll box or not how do you check simply type something inside this okay you can see the scroll bar has appeared yes or no so this is a scroll text i mean this text box is enabled with a scroll bar anytime the text exceed the limit that is where the scroll bar will auto appear so which is working fine okay now what is the problem in this one 
right look at the when you are expanding this specific application look at the height width you know nothing is mentioned it's just in center of the application doesn't look good right it doesn't look good okay now the another problem is let's say i'm going to type something or let me delete everything let's say i'm going to type it here something i'll go till the end let's say i want to type hello okay now when i'm typing h e l l o what is happening the h e is staying at the top l l o is coming at the bottom it's not wrapping the text so let's see first let's see one by one we will see let's wrap the text now to wrap the text there is something called wrap parameter now what i have to wrap the word i have to wrap in the app so i will use the t kinter dot word in capital now if i run this let's see the wrapping function of the text is it working or not okay for example i'm going to type something here i'll go till the end and then let me type h e l l o so you can see the word is not printed half at the top half at the bottom it has taken the entire word to the bottom and printed so this is called word wrap we have achieved now the next thing that we need to achieve if you see this text box height for example the height of the text box is not properly set let me do one thing i am going to copy this code and paste it two times and let's set the height of that text box you want a smaller height you want a bigger height so let's say the first one i am going to give it a bigger height i will say height is equals to i am going to keep it to let's say uh, let's say 13 okay and this one height ensuring your spellings are correct okay then h e i g s height is equal to i am going to keep it 3 so i am creating two text boxes one with a smaller height and the upper one with a bigger height okay now let's also create a header so that it appears good so i am going to create a app underscore header variable which is nothing but just a label i am going to say t kinter so all of this i have taught and you need to practice it multiple times so that it remains in your fingertips so t kinter dot i want to create a label where i would like to create a label inside the root and the font i would like to keep is let's say georgia comma i want to keep it as like 24 the header and once the app variable is created we just pack it okay now if i run this particular code what would happen you see app header has come but there is no text what text i would like to show here i will define that here for example i would like to define a text parameter saying text is equals to uh, scroll text demo now let's read on this okay now you can see how it is appearing now what is happening i have enabled the height and width you can adjust okay you can adjust according to your need let's say 10 pixel and 3 pixel is not enough let's say i would like to make it to uh, maybe 30 pixels and i want to keep it as let's say 5 or let's say 10 pixels something like that okay so you can based on your requirement you can keep on changing the height let's run this now you can see it is looking pretty good right it has taken the entire space of the application now the only problem what i see i would like to enable the width now for this the proper feature or the proper command would be going for this okay so there is something called fill equals to t kinter fill is equal to let me minimize this so fill t kinter dot both that means you want to truly expand it height width depending let's say you are adjusting the height of the application initially when you launch or somebody is expanding to its need so truly it is going to expand okay so it's saying fill equals to t kinter dot both both the side height it width comma here i would say expand 
parameter is equal to 2. This is very important parameter. It will be used a lot many times. Okay. Look at this. Same thing we will uh, do it. So I am doing it for the header. It's not for the header. You have to do it for the uh, scroll text. Okay. Sorry, my mistake. So here you need to put it. Okay. Now look at it. What's, what's going to happen? The moment you are launching the app. Uh, okay. The true should be capital T. Let's run it now. Now you can see if you adjust the height and width of the application, right? Let's say I'm adjusting something like this based on my requirement. What would happen? They are automatically they are going to adjust within within the app itself. Now let, let's look at this. Okay, how it is appearing? So now you can see it has expanded truly. The height is anyway set, but it is expanding truly based on the size of the app. Okay. So you can see the upper one has filled like this and the lower one has filled like this. Let's put some text, okay, just to check if they are working or not, okay. So let's say I'm going to copy paste, same text I'm going to copy paste. So you can see the scroll bar has been enabled and then it is truly wrapping my text. None of the words are on the top and bottom. So this function is working. Sometimes let's say on a chart window, there's one window where the user can enter and the other window is to just to display the text with the similar features. So you would like to disable typing in a given text box, like a chat window you have seen, right? Bottom you are typing and on the top it is disabled. You cannot type on the top text box. It is used like a display box with all scrolling functions. So how to do that? Now to do that, all you have to do simply add another parameter. Let's say I would like to disable the top one. I'll come here. So the parameter to disable is called state equals to I'm going to write tkinter dot disabled okay in capital. Now if you run this code what would happen the upper box will be disabled see I cannot type I cannot type so let, let me set some background color so it is easy to you know understand so to set a background color what is the parameter bg background color equals to uh, I want to say gray. Let's rerun this. You can see, okay. The upper one is this is too much of a gray. You can do a light gray. Uh, so you can see it is disabled. Okay. Only thing I can do is only I can type it here. Similar with the font and all this thing can be done using this font in case you would like to just add this parameter. So the font size of the text also increases. Okay. These are the couple of features that you have learned. So now if you see, okay, let me make it light gray. It is looking very weird with a light gray. Okay, somewhat better. So you can see here I can type and if the text is sent to the top box, it is disabled. Okay, and the wrapping option is also enabled. So all the features that I was initially talking about, all of them has been covered. So in case you have any questions around this, please do comment in the comment section so that I will try to answer them. But I hope you are learning a lot of things in a proper way and by understanding why it is needed, that is where you are utilizing the parameters. So experiment, keep learning Python. Python is a very important skill that you need in the future. Okay, so learn, learning is always something going to benefit us. So thank you guys for watching. Let's meet once again in our next content. Till then. Take care, bye-bye.